Alright, so now you've got the TLC spotted. So you're going to go grab your chromatography jar, which should have the eluting solvent. In this case, it's a mix of, I think, hexane, ethyl acetate, and acetic acid. You're going to eventually grab your TLC plate with a pair of tweezers. Organic fingers in your hands, only touch the top. When you set it in the jar, the line, the baseline, needs to be above the solvent line. So, drop it in. If there's room, you could even push it a little more to the edge, uh, where the, the solvent might be a little deeper and basically uh, put the lid on and now you wait but make sure you keep the jar level on the bench don't pick it up and start waving it around and um, and walking up to your TA asking if it's good or done or anything like that <coughs> as the solvent rises up um, it's subjective when you want to take it out you should at least probably go three quarters of the way up the TLC plate and you're going to mark off the solvent front. As soon as you remove it from the jar, the solvent will start evaporating uh, from that mark. So you do want to make sure you note it early. Now when you look into the UV lamp, each vertical sort of column, if you want to think of it that way, um, above uh, the spots that you put down will show how many components you had uh, from that solution that you spotted. So for example, under the acetaminophen, there's only one spot. Under the unknown, there's more than one spot, and what you should do is circle the spots with a pencil, and then maybe if there's other uh, notable markings, you may want to either put a dotted line around it or just make a note in your diagram when you draw it in the textbook or in your uh, lab notebook. But if you look at this sample, the unknown and the sedimentifin, they don't match up in their vertical spots. The unknown does seem to contain some aspirin, but there's something else in there, so you'll find that out when you run your other two reference compounds.